Bienvenue and welcome to JPJT Talk. JPJT Ottawa! Your one-stop shop for democracy talk only lightly censored. Coming across the top of the hour where it's 26 degrees in the capital K postal code. That's a little hot for Canadians, and so I'll be meeting with some arsonists, I mean uh, firefighters, from Algeria and Sweden who know our boreal forests better than we do. I wonder if we'll have any callers today. That number once again is 1-800-LIBERAL. Oh, there's a call. Uh, go ahead, you're live on JPJT. Oh, hey there, Justin. It's uh, Dr. Anthony Fauci from the National Institute of Infectious Belief Systems and Fairy Tales. Thank you for calling, Dr. Fauci. I really appreciate those uh, beautiful injections that you created for us all. I, you know, when I got vaccinated, it was just an amazing experience. Like, getting that shot was, it, 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 it just hits you. Yeah, I get that a lot. Uh, you're welcome. You know, last year, uh, COVID was a bit quiet, so I've been transitioning uh, kind Whoa. of over. What's this about transitioning? Well, switching over to a new job where I'm a safety officer at a construction site in Newfoundland. But I'm having a hard time with those carpenters because they're making a lot of dust, you know, uh, but refusing to wear their double and triple masks. I mean... Uh, Plus, I got to do their blood tests uh, every 24 hours to check for dangerous drugs like um, Invermectin and uh, Hydroxy, uh, Hydroxy, what do you call it? Hydroxy Drag Queen. Oh yeah, Hydroxy Drag Queen. Uh, anyway, I'm trying to keep them safe, you know, and especially if the guys like with the big prosthetic tits are using a table saw or, or carrying around their rebar, they got to stay six feet apart, you know. There's nothing more important than keeping Canadians safe and affected. Time for another caller. JPJT, you're live and on the air. Do you know what's going on? Everyone is comparing me to Barbie. Well, she's nice and... A feminist icon, and I just saw the movie. Not that Barbie. Klaus Barbie, the butcher of Lyon. Not the little fashion model doll. Uh, you idiot! Scheiße! Next caller, please. Justin Trudeau. No, that was a guy. He has somehow managed to survive five long years of the most foul-smelling scandals one can't even imagine. Five years, half a decade, what a rap sheet. Some say you've got to be a little cold-hearted to get through something like that. I don't quite know how he did it, but I know he did. And how does he stay in power with so many scandals? I surmise the answer is never black and white with these resilient creatures. But one thing's for certain with them. Corruption finds a way. Unfortunately, we have to move on and take the next caller. You're live and on the air. Hey, Justin. How you doing, man? Actually, I don't really care. Look, man, I got no problem with immigration. But we need more jobs, man. I mean, if possible, could you and old comatose Joe down here you know, maybe just dial it back. Just, I mean, uh, 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 a, a tiny bit with your massive communist welfare state. It sounds like your racist climate change denier, and I will not stand for that. Oh, yeah? Well, you are a reality denier. And... A purple head! Next caller, you're live on JPJT. Ooh, someone in the control room says it's Bill Gates. Hi, Justin. I just want to say I think you're doing a really great job depopulating Canada with your medically assisted suicide program. But if, uh, if you were to get more of the truckers and the white male misogynists injected, I mean... The, the ladies tend not to be as interested in my Microsoft prick, but you could probably see a greater return on your profits from acutus 
and your other conflict of interest schemes, which I think are mm. admirable. You seem to be having some technical trouble, Bill. Um, I can fix anything. I mean, I did invent the computer. The JPJT Talk is brought to you by the Cult of Covidian Church, where every day this coming fall, attendees will be lulled into a zombie-like spell by the soothing and hypnotic words of guest speakers such as Bonnie Henry and Mark Holland and others. By the time you leave, you'll be under complete mind control and know who your new God is. Pfizer, our Lord and Savior. Back to our callers. Oh, it's Christian Freeland. Mr. Speaker. Hi, it's Christia. Thank you so much for having me on your show. I was telling the graduates the other day that democracy is totally a thing of the past. And we should not even consider it in our education anymore or our corporations at all because it doesn't even exist or is respected anyways. <laughs> okay, I was caught really very speeding, very, really fast. And I have you know that it was actually my driver. It wasn't even me. So... I'm granted leniency, and so is he, and it's just how it is now. Excellent, Christia. You know, with these uh, word salads that you and I always use, we can just keep this sweet gig going for a long time. Next caller, you're live and on the air. Hey, everybody. How you doing? Sorry, uh, did you hear? The Canadian government, I guess they're going to give $75,000 to any federal government employee uh, who wants a sex change. So I thought, well, that'd be interesting, you know, to be in that room that day when they made that decision, you know, wherever these, uh, the Canadian politicians meet, you know, like in the, some kind of room in the hockey rink or wherever it is, and, you know, and they got the, the leader there, you know, they got the, the prime president or whatever you call him, Trudeau, and he's like, okay, everybody, we got several hundred million dollars to give away, so we better pick a very deserving group or organization, right? And so suggestions? And so, like, the first guy to put up his hand is like, politician Daryl, yeah, Daryl, good old... Canadian Daryl, you know, he's, he's like, hey, uh, why don't we give the money to the group that can solve and end world hunger? And Trudeau's like, uh, what, are you an idiot? <laughs> and so, like, next guy to give it a try is, like, French congressman, senator, you know, whatever you call him, you know, Richard. You know, Richard says, you know, give the money to the group that can uh, find the cure for cancer. And Trudeau's like, boring, <laughs> you know, and so then... Next up, Cavi gives it a try. So Cavi says, hey, why don't we give the money to the group that can end human trafficking? And Trudeau's like, that's pathetic. Finally, then, then Brenda steps in, and Brenda's like, uh, you know, she's, kind of, she's like the minister of dildos or something. So she's like, I know, let's give, split up the money between all the women in the federal government that want to block their opening and have a dong stuck on them. And Trudeau's like, I like where this is going. And then she says, but let's not leave the men out. We'll split it up also between all the men who want to just chop off all their junk and grow big boobs. And she was like, uh, meeting adjourned. Uh, yeah, <laughs> that's one of the most brilliant ideas I came up with. I know. Let's take the next caller. Hello, Trudeau. It's Tedros Adhanam Gabriosus from the WHO. And Demon Alderic. Oh, you know Ethiopian. Only a little. But actually, I have a full costume of you that I put on sometimes, complete with makeup and everything. I'm very flattered. Anyway, we must all stay safe from the upcoming crises the world faces. And I hope everyone gets locked down forever. Just to be safe, you know, because there will always be more and more scary things in the news. Especially in Canada, as you know. Hi, I'm Tedros, and I put the wrong accent on every syllable. <laughs> I'm only teasing you, teddy bear. I had to get you back for that joke about Sophie and me and that I was moistly a good husband. Anyway, that's all the time we have left for Canadians on JPJT. Uh, bon matin, and make sure to consume lots of mainstream propaganda and Hollywood films. See you next time. JPJT Ottawa!